what is the main reason why everybody is talking about CBD right now from investment advisors to medical doctors and wellness experts? Well, the fact that CBD is so tremendously effective, and when I say CBD, I'm talking about phytocannabinoids, just suffice to say that these components have only been discovered in the late 80s, the early 1990s. And the research has mostly been done outside the U.S. because hemp was still considered a Schedule One drug. It was very difficult to research it here. Medical doctors have never been trained in this area. They, they, when I was in medical school, we didn't even know the endocannabinoid system existed. So now we're finally getting, I think, 25,000 studies now on the benefits of THC, CBD, and other phytocannabinoids. And the numbers of people who are benefiting by taking hemp oil products. So it's a huge investment opportunity. It's a, a huge business opportunity. There's dozens of companies, you know, that are jumping in the market. You know, Forbes, Wall Street Journal, they're all projecting this to be a multi-billion dollar market within the next few years. Yeah. Okay, so let's talk about the cannabinoid system then and uh, the main benefits of CBD hemp oil on the body and for well-being. The researcher who's done most of this work, discovering first THC and then CBD and a lot of the research on the components and what the health benefits are, is a doctor by the name of Raphael Meshulam, and he's in Israel. And he discovered that our body has receptors. We have like locks for these type of cannabinoid compounds to go into, okay? If you think about it, why? So, so you're going back about 6 million years in evolution. All vertebrates have these endocannabinoid receptors and make compounds in the body that are similar, that look similar to the phytocannabinoids. In the humans, the two predominant endocannabinoids that are made by our own bodies are 2-AG and anandamide. And 2-AG works predominantly on the immune system and the inflammatory system of the body. And the anandamide works predominantly on the nervous, central nervous system. But literally almost every tissue in the human body, as well as virtually all animals, have these receptors for these compounds. So there's a lot of things that get affected by cannabinoids, whether they're made by our own body or whether we consume them by consuming hemp or marijuana, I mean, a lot of systems in the body are affected and predominantly in a very positive way. The endocannabinoid system, as it turns out, is one of the, I would say it is the super regulatory system of the regulatory systems in the body. So if you look at neurotransmitters, such as serotonin, norepinephrine, dopamine, epinephrine, et cetera, the they regulate mood and they regulate the way certain messages are transmitted in the brain. And if they're out of balance, you could either be anxious or you could be more depressed. But what regulates those neurotransmitters is actually the endocannabinoid system. So by increasing the amount of cannabinoids in the system, then it's going to normalize the balance between the excitatory and the calming neurotransmitters and restore health to the nervous system. 